In this laboratory, I'll be exploring Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law says that the voltage is equal to the resistance times the current. I've got a real simple circuit. That's my switch that will turn the circuit on. On the right, I have an ammeter that measures current in amps. On the left, a voltmeter that measures voltage in volts. I've got an alkaline battery that, when new, put out 1.5 volts. I've got a box that generates a fixed resistance of 6 ohms. And so when I close the switch, I get a current and a voltage. On the right, the current. On the left, the voltage. Here we can see a current of about 0.2 amps and a voltage of about 1.25 volts. Learning to read these means learning to see which poles the wires are connected to. The voltmeter is running on the bottom scale because the wire is into the 1.5 volt post. Again, I'm at 6 ohms, but now I've got two batteries attached to the circuit in series. So their voltage will add up. And with two batteries, uh, I've now had to switch to the 3 volt post, which will be the middle scale on the voltmeter. I'm still in the 1 amp post on the ammeter on the right. And I've got about 0.4 amps at about 2.4 volts. That's about 2.4 volts on the voltmeter. That's the middle scale. And I'm running at about 0.4 amps. You can go back and watch this video again. I've now moved to three batteries. I'm still at six ohms. I have not changed the resistance. And once again, I'll close the switch and set the circuit in motion. I've got about 0.585 amps at about 3.1 volts. I've had to switch to the 30 volt input on the voltmeter. I'm still in the one amp amp meter. So I'm on the bottom scale on the ammeter, and I'm on the topmost scale of the voltmeter, that zero to 30 scale. That's really about 3 volts, 3.1 volts. I'll get back later to some power calculations. I've moved on to 4 batteries in series. So the voltages will add up, although the batteries are older. I'm still into the 30 volt post. I'm still into the 1 amp post. So I'm using the bottom scale on the right ammeter in amps. And I'm using the top scale on the left in the voltmeter. About 0.72 amps at 4 volts. It's about 0.72. That takes some experience to learn to read these. That's about 4 volts there. I'm moving on to 5 batteries. I've got 5 batteries. And again, I close the switch and I electrify the circuit. I can see the current on the right. I can see the voltage on the left. We're carrying about 0.87 amps of current. That's the amount of electrons flowing through the wires. About 87. And we're dead on 5 volts. 5 volts of electromotive force. EMF as it's sometimes called. I now go on to 6 batteries. At 6 batteries, I'll pick up about 1 amp. Almost 1 amp perfectly. And 5.9 volts. The voltage across the circuit is 5.9 volts. We speak of voltage as being across the circuit. Current is a measurement of flow. How much electricity is flowing in the circuit? Voltage is a measure of how much electromotive potential there is. We've moved on to our next set of batteries here. Got about seven in there. I've had to switch to the 10 to the 10 amp because see now I'm. I'm going to exceed the bottom scale. So I've now got to read the top scale. A little trickier. It goes 0 to 2 there, 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'm just above 1 at 1 1.2 amps and about 6.75 volts. Again, I've switched posts on the ammeter. So that's about 1.2. You'll have to go back and look at that probably more carefully to see why it's 1.2. And this is about 6.75 uh, volts, my best estimate. Up here at 8 ba batteries. Count them. We've now got 8 batteries. They're actually in series if you go back and look at the wires. Freeze the movie and take a look at all the wiring. We're at 1.3 amps and 7.5 volts. Well, again, uh, check what we're posts are in. But I haven't changed the posts. We're in the same posts. And there you can see that's about 1.3. That's almost dead on 7.5 volts. Well, you add another battery, and you get nine batteries, all wired in series. Nine of them. Close the switch. There you go. 1.4 amps on the left, 
at about just about 8 volts. That's about 1.4 amps. Well, just see that there? And the voltage sitting right about 8. That's 8 volts. Well, the most I can do is 10 batteries because at that point I run out of batteries and battery holders. But this is 10 batteries, all in series, all adding up. Granted, again, they're a little bit older. Probably could use some new batteries. Fire it up. And uh, we'll, we'll get about 1.5 amps. If you look carefully there, about 1.5. Not up to 2 yet. And about 8.5 volts. The voltage isn't climbing as much. There's probably some other factors. The batteries have probably a limited amount of current. They can simply pump through them. Current is flow through a circuit. And we've got about 8.5. That's about 8.5 DC volts there. Well, there's my data written out. Amps and volts. Uh, and on the right, you can see another set of calculations. It turns out that the power in watts is equal to the current times the voltage. So I calculated the power, and I've got a graph of the number of batteries versus the power I'm getting out of the circuit. Power will be in watts. Amps and volts uh, will graph to produce, we hope, the resistance of about 6. Well, here's the first table of current. I, I is the variable for current. V, capital V, is voltage. Here's the number of batteries. P2 is the number of batteries. P2 is the watts, the power, which is simply the current times the voltage. And you can see that V equals RI, Ohm's law, produces a straight line with a slope of about 5.72, very close to the 6 in the box. I'm not sure what I'm getting with batteries versus power, and I'm still puzzled by it. And you can see that here. I've tried a linear. It doesn't really fit especially at the lower number of batteries. You can try a quadratic, but it doesn't fit when you get the higher number of higher numbers of batteries. I think there's some complex chemistry going on here that has to do with uh, the amount of current that you can simply push through an alkaline battery. I think there's some sort of current limit we're running up against when we exceed one amp. One amp is a large current. So that's Ohm's law. Uh, and uh, a look at battery versus power. Ohm's law is linear with the slope equal to the resistance. Current I in amps on the x-axis, voltage V in volts on the y-axis. And you get a nice straight line sitting up there at about 5.7 some, some ohms.